Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from AJAZ that you can pick up at whatgeek.com. I'll have the links in the description below where you can check it out. This is the AK820 Pro tri-mode mechanical keyboard. Now this is a hot swappable keyboard that you can either use wired uh, via Bluetooth up to three devices, or a, a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. You can also replace the keycaps and the switches if you would like to, and it has an integrated LCD information screen that you can upload images and or GIFs to. We're gonna check this out right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. Of course, you're going to get the main unit. This is an 81 key keyboard uh, at 75%, uh, just to give you that off the bat. But let's take a look at all the specs. Now, we do have our user manual here, and this will list all the specs of this device. Uh, and I will leave this up. It's in a couple different languages, so if English isn't your first language, they've got you covered there. Uh, but I do want to show you the specs here. That way, if I miss anything during the review, you can come back to this point in the video and check the specs out. Now, what we're looking at here is a, a triple mode or a three mode uh, USB wired. 2.4 gigahertz wireless via a dongle or 5.1 Bluetooth, where you can hook up up to three different devices via Bluetooth. USB type C interface, it weighs 810 grams, has a 4,000 milliamp battery for your wireless modes. Uh, you do have uh, the OEM keycaps uh, and PBT material. You do have 20 RGB effects, 81 keys, and a metal a volume uh, knob. And this will work with Mac, Windows, and Android. So you can see here that we do have uh, three different uh, Bluetooth channels and uh, the key combinations for switching over your modes and, uh, of course, that little LCD screen, which we'll get to in, uh, later in the video as well. Now, they do give us a key cap and switch puller here because you can pull the caps and replace them. You can also pull all of the switches. Now, this comes with AJAZ's uh, yellow linear moon switches pre-lubed from the factory, and we'll get to that a little bit later as well. Here is your uh, USB type A to USB type C cable. It's not a braided cable, but it is long, which I do like to have uh, just for cable management. Uh, and this, when it is plugged in, will recharge that 4,000 milliamp battery that is in uh, the uh, AJAZ AK820 Pro. Now, looking at this again, 81 keys, 75%. So this is going to save uh, a lot of space on your desk. You do lose the number pad here, but you have all of your function keys, which is nice. You do have a metal knob at the top and that little LCD screen, uh, which once we hook this up, we'll show you. It'll give you some information. It'll also allow you to uh, go in and change some settings on the keyboard right from the LCD and it will display images and GIF files that you can upload via the software, which I'll also go over. Now you do have a nice metal knob at the top here, which will control your volume and or mute it. You do have an ABS plastic shell on this, and if we look in the back, uh, we've got a couple different things to look at. Uh, we've got a couple switches here, but we also have our 2.4 gigahertz dongle, uh, which we can take out. Uh, and it's magnetic as well to keep it in place, which is really nice because sometimes on keyboards, uh, they'll have like a little uh, slot there uh, and it will fall out of the slot. They put a magnet in there, which was actually a really smart idea and uh, it keeps it from falling out. Now I have a Windows and a Mac switch. So if you're going to be using Mac, you'll want to switch it to the Mac uh, so it has that Mac layout and uh, Windows for Windows. And then below that, we have our triple modes, Bluetooth to the left, USB in the middle, and 2.4 gigahertz for the uh, wireless dongle. Pretty easy uh, to set up uh, depending on which mode you want to run in. 
Now you do have levelers on the bottom of this and they are two stage levelers which is nice. Uh, so if you want to have it at a slight angle you can use the smaller ones and if you want to have it at a more steeper angle for uh, comfortability of typing you have that as well. Now you don't get a wrist rest with this or anything uh, but the adding uh, two levels here makes this a little bit more comfortable to type on depending on how you want to set it up. On the back you've got your single USB a type Type-C input uh, and that is pretty much what we've got for the unboxing of the AJAZZ AK820 Pro. Okay, so let's take a look at the keycaps and the switches. Again, you've got these linear switches from AJAZZ. They are moon switches. Uh, so if you like the linear switches, then you're going to like this. South-facing RGB lighting, just in case you needed to know that. Uh, these are pre-lubed from the factory and are a pretty nice. And also we have the uh, PBT keycaps here in OEM style. Again, you can switch these out for whatever keycaps you would like. I like OEM style keycaps. Key they work great for me. Overall, I like uh, the feel of these uh, even right out of the factory without having to do any extra modding to them. And we'll do a quick typing test here in just a second to let you know what these sound like. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the LCD screen, and of course on the main screen you're going to have your date, your time, your battery life, uh, whether you're in Windows or Mac mode, wired or Bluetooth, uh, you have your caps lock there, uh, so you have a bunch of uh, good information that you can cycle through uh, with the volume wheel, actually. So using the function and volume wheel, uh, I can actually uh, change it from just doing volume and mute, which is what it's on by default you'll see it'll function and the wheel will blink three times in red and now I can use the wheel to navigate a bunch of different configurations like the modes the color the brightness the speed of the animations uh, and you can continue on here as well with volume you can change the language of uh, the actual LCD itself uh, and of course your animated GIF if you want to do that you can check that out now you can do that when the uh, wheel is locked out into volume mode to go back to that you just have to hit function and the wheel again it'll blink three times and it will just be a volume up volume down and uh, a uh, mute button uh, but if you want to see uh, you know go from what you've uploaded to uh, your as far as gifts or pictures you can just do function home and you'll switch between that information screen which is going to be the default to whatever gif you had and it'll stay on that as well so that's pretty cool so I can change these uh, animations I can also change the colors of the animations here red orange blue green whatever I would like right here uh, just using the knob without having to access any software at all now we're going to check out the software here as well but I did like the fact that I could use this uh, select any of the uh, 20 different effects and I can adjust the rate of speed the uh, brightness and everything just through the LCD screen which is really nice now you can also adjust the brightness uh, using function arrow up and arrow down and speed function uh, arrow left and arrow right
So you do have those shortcuts as well. So there's multiple ways of doing this. You can see I can adjust the speeds of the animations right here on very, very nice. Uh, overall, just an awesome thing. This little LCD uh, comes in handy when you want to uh, get into a bunch of different things uh, and you want to cycle through things quickly. The last thing I did want to mention is if you are in Bluetooth mode, uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use function Q for Bluetooth 1, function W for Bluetooth 2, and function E for your third device. You can have up to three devices connected via Bluetooth and cycle between them. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is the AJAZZ AK820 Pro a software that you can get. Uh, now, here's a little disclaimer on the software. I first got the software from whatgeek.com, and it doesn't seem like it's the fully updated one. I have it linked it below where I got it direct from AJAZZ, so you may want to grab it there until WhatGeek uploads uh, the newest version. Now, you can see here on our main screen that we can uh, pretty much add any function to any key that we would like. Uh, so this is something that you uh, want to do maybe to launch a program with a specific key. You can just right click on it. You can do the default key. You can disable the key and you can do custom functions. And custom functions we can do combination of shift, win, control, and alt. Uh, and we also have multi-key, macros, mouse functions, multimedia, window shortcuts, opening a program or opening a website site uh, and sending text. So you can do all of these things with one key. Uh, so if I want to open a website, I can just type in what website it is, apply it, and then when I hit that key, it'll open that website, which is actually really cool and super helpful. And you can do this for any key except for the volume knob uh, in obviously the LCD screen. You also have other things like, uh, you know, your media keys, your calculator, and you can add those in as well. Now, in our macro manager here, we have a full uh, suite for macros, which is really nice to have. You can obviously import, export, rename, delete. Uh, you can use mouse or keyboard inputs. And you can, of course, record uh, all of your macros here uh, so that you can save them and then use them on the keyboard as well. Looking at lighting here, again, we've got 20 modes, uh, way too many to go through, uh, but you can adjust the colors uh, to any color that you would like. You can change the brightness here, uh, the speed of the animation, and the direction of the animation as well uh, in the software here, which is really, really nice to have. You can even go down to the bottom and turn them all off if you would like. That saves you through scrolling through 20 of these different modes on your keyboard. Now, you can upload GIFs uh, and uh, still pictures to the LCD screen, uh, and this is where we'll do that. You can draw or make your own if you would like to, uh, or you can upload your own uh, as well uh, by going through editing. So we're going to delete this one just because I don't want to do that uh, little squiggle that I put in there. Uh, but you can also see on the right there's a time sync button. This is what you're going to want to push first. This is going to time, uh, time sync your PC uh, so that you have the correct date and time on your keyboard. Now, if I do want to set up a new one, uh, this is super simple and super easy. I've got some GIFs on my desktop, so I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to import these. You're going to do an import, uh, and I'm not going to save that little squiggle, squiggly line there. And I've got like a Happy Monday GIF here, and I'm just going to open that, and it's going to load up this GIF, uh, and it will take GIFs up to, I believe it's 255 frames. Uh, I may be wrong on that. Don't quote me, but I believe that is the way it is. And then, of course, we can preview it, see what it looks like, and then we can hit the upload to keyboard on the right hand side and it will upload it to your keyboard. So there you go. It's uh, very uh, useful and easy to do. Now you can do uh, specific user profiles as well of just your numeric keys, uh, your just your WASD keys, uh, or select all of your keys, or you can do per key lighting, which means I can set every key 
on this keyboard a different color if I really wanted to. Uh, so that's really cool to have your custom light down to the individual key, which is really nice. So, you know, I can make the number keys purple and my WASD uh, blue, uh, and I can make some other ones white or all of them white uh, or each key as well. So that works out really, really nicely. Going on down here, we've got a real-time lighting. So again, uh, you're going to be able to do effects as well. Uh, so if we want to do static effects on one key, uh, we can do that, uh, or all keys, or just the numeric keys, or the WASD keys. So we can use certain lighting modes, not all of the 20 are listed there, but if I want my uh, you know, WAS and D keys, or just the S key to be starlight, then that key will do that RGB effect. And I can also change uh, the other ones like the numeric or the WAS and D keys as well. Now it also has a music mode here and you've got a couple different rhythms and you can change the amplitude, the background brightness, and the background mode as well. Uh, so uh, you can see how it will react to music and it's got that mode. The last tab here, we can select our uh, language, we can do our key response time, uh, and our sleep time, where it will actually go to sleep. You can go from five minutes to, you know, never if you don't want. You can reset the keyboard, factory reset it. You can disable Alt-Tab, disable Alt-F4, or disable the Windows key as well. So this is the software for the uh, AJAZZ AK. 820 Pro and it works out really nicely and you can really customize this keyboard fully. Uh, again, I have the, a link to the software in the description below of the most updated software directly from AJAZZ, uh, so you might want to check it out. So there you go, that's my review of the AJAZZ AK820 Pro uh, tri-mode mechanical keyboard. This is a all-around great keyboard in my opinion. Uh, if you want to save a little bit of space on your desktop, still have a nice mechanical gaming keyboard out of the box with their pre-lubed switches that sound and feel really good if you like linear switches. Of course, you can replace them with any types of switches that you would like either, you know, uh, two pin or five pin and it has that nice LCD screen that gives me information, allows me to change my modes and of course upload GIFs or uh, you know or, or images that I like to have on my keyboard during the day. Now you do get three modes with this, of course, wired, uh, Bluetooth for up to three different devices, and of course, uh, 2.4 gigahertz with the dongle. So you've got a lot of options here uh, if you're uh, looking to get a new keyboard. You may wanna check this one out from AJAZZ. Now this will be up on uh, whatgeek.com and I'll have the link to their website and they're currently doing a Black Friday sale. So now would be the time to check this keyboard out at a great price. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll check you guys out on the next one.